What is up everyone, my name is Jared Beckwith. Welcome back to another machine learning video. Today we're going through Andrew Ng's free book called Machine Learning Yearning. It's a free PDF. He's still going through the draft phase, but he puts it out for free. So I just wanted to go through it and maybe go through some key concepts that I can take away and also share with you guys as well. Here's the book, Machine Learning Yearning, Technical Strategy for Artificial Intelligence Engineers in the Era of Deep Learning by Andrew Ng. This is a free book, just Google it and you can get it too, just so you can follow along. You can download it onto your iPhone, Android, or just look at it as a PDF on your computer, super easy. Andrew Ng is a professor at Stanford University and one of the founders of deeplearning.ai, one of his deep learning courses. So to start off this book, he starts off with why machine learning strategy? It's always important, I think, to ask why you're doing something, especially in the beginning. Andrew says, machine learning is the foundation of countless important application, applications, including web search, email anti-spam, speech recognition, like for example, Alexa or Hey Google, the Google Home device, uh, product recommendations, those are like when you buy something on Amazon and Amazon recommends you different products depending on what you bought, what you're most likely to buy next, and also more. Uh, another example would be uh, advertising. When you click on something, either on Facebook or Google, Google and Facebook use artificial intelligence to recommend you advertisements based on your interests, your search history, and what you've been clicking on. Andrew says, I assume that you or your team is working on a machine learning application and that you want to make rapid progress, and this book will help you do so. And he starts off with an example of building a cat picture startup. He says, say you're building a startup that will provide an endless stream of cat pictures to cat lovers. Wow, those cats are pretty cute. You will use a ne neural network to build a computer vision system for detecting cats in pictures. But tragically, your learning algorithm's accuracy is not yet good enough. You are under tremendous pressure to improve your cat detector. What do you do? Your team has lots of ideas such as get more data, collect more pictures of cats. Getting more data is usually a good idea. Collect a more diverse training set. For example, cats in unusual positions, cats with unusual coloration, pictures shot with a variety of camera settings because sometimes you got professionally shot photos and you got camera phone shot photos with a blur and sometimes you got cats upside down sometimes you got cats laying down rather than standing up there's so many different types of pictures of cats that you want your algorithm to be able to detect another way you can improve it is train the algorithm longer that's another idea by running more gradient descent iterations so more iterations give it more training time and also try a bigger neural network with more layers hidden units and parameters those are good ideas but more ideas you could also try a smaller neural network which is different than training than trying a bigger neural network it all depends on the problem you can also try regularization such as l2 regularization or also one of my favorites is dropout regularization, which is where you randomly turn off different nodes in the neural network at random. Let's say you want to turn off 50% of the nodes, so it'll turn off 50%, and that'll help it from, from not overfitting, so it can generalize more for different cat pictures. Also, change the neural network act architecture, such as activation function, number of hidden units, etc. So you could change you could change from a ReLU activation function to a TanH activation function. There's there's pretty much an unlimited things that you can try to optimize your neural networks. So Andrew says, if you choose well among these possible directions, you'll build the leading cat picture platform and lead your company to success. If you choose poorly, you might waste months. Well, how do you proceed? This book will answer that question, and this ser video series will go through this book and help you guys build the best machine learning algorithm possible as it relates to your specific niche or whatever you're doing in real life. Most machine learning problems leave clues that tell you what's useful to try and what's not useful to try. Learning to read these clues will save you months or years of development time. Whatever your cat picture platform is, this book will help you achieve that goal. 
And for me, what I'm doing is I'm building a robot neurologist. His name is Sigmund. That's the neural network's name that I've named him. And I'm just in the beginning stages. I've pretty much built out the model so far, but I have a long way to go to perfect it and turn it into a commercial product, which is used in many different hospitals across the nation. So I have a long way to go, but this is my journey. I'm documenting it right here. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to see the next part, make sure to subscribe down below, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, the artificial intelligence, and I will see you guys on the next video.